Right then guys, so now we're going on to another light dinner. So this is going to be a risotto. Uh, butternut squash, pea and spinach risotto. So what we're going to do is we're going to start getting all the squashing. So we're going to roast that first. So what I've done is I've diced some up, but I'll show you how to do that. So we've got one butternut squash, top part where it's most solid, we're going to dice and roast that whole. And then the base, we're going to take the seeds out and we're going to roast that down as well, but we're going to turn that into a bit of a coarse puree. So, top and tail your squash first. And then just where it starts to get a bit bulbous, I'm going to cut that in half. So I've got the solid bit at the top and then the base has got all the seeds in it. And then all I'm going to do is just take the outer skin off with my knife just sort of curving around the actual base of the squash as I'm doing it. So I'm not trying to take too much of that flesh away for wasting. So start with the base first, cut it in half. And then I'm just going to take all those seeds out. So I'm going to use a spoon and I'm just going to scrape those out into the bin. So all I'm doing is just getting the knife, turning around and then just scraping those seeds out. So now I've got that, I've got a square of tin foil. I'm just going to place the two bits of squash in here. I've got olive oil, douse that over, and I've got some salt and pepper. And then what I'm going to do now is just wrap it up so it's in like a little parcel. So then when that's cooking, the steam is obviously going to help the cooking process on that. I'm going to pop that on there. And then with the other bit of squash, that's the top end. So with this, I'm just going to slice this down into cubes. So first I'm going to slice down, and then what I'm going to do is bunch them together, cut what we call batons in the trade. And then from those batons, I'm then going to cut down for my dice. And then with those, I've got a tray, with a little bit of tin foil laid out on it. Just going to pop those onto there. Same as the other bit of squash, just going to do a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm going to season them up with salt and pepper. And then with those, I'm going to pop those into the oven at about 180 for about 15 minutes. Right, while that's cooking, I'm now going to make the base for the risotto. So I've already got pre-chopped. I've done half an onion and about a clove and a half of garlic. So with that, I'm going to put that into a pan. So I've got a nice heavy based saucepan here that I'm going to use for cooking the risotto in. So I'm going to put a good glug of olive oil in there. So get a pan nice and hot. Best way to test the pan is always back of the hand. Just hold it in there until you can feel the heat. So I'm going to pop those in. And then it's just a matter of cooking these out. I want to cook them out till they're sort of translucent. I don't want to get any colour on there. Don't want to caramelise them up or anything like that. So now I've got the onions. They're getting to where I want them to be. So I've got about 500 grams of risotto rice already weighed out ready. So I'm now going to add that to that and I'm just going to cook these out. Now you don't want these uh, rice kernels to catch at all. You just want to carry on stirring all the time just to start the cooking and then I'm going to start adding some stock to it. Right then, so now I've taken my risotto rice down to the right point where I want it. So now there's just a little bit, just the smallest of bites still in the grains of rice, but that is what I want because it's going to carry on cooking whilst I'm finishing it. But then also when you serve it as well, it's going to carry on with that residual heat. So it's in a good place now. So right, what we're going to do now is get the squash out. So that's been roasting away. So all I'm trying to do with this is just to get it so it's nice and soft. So we've got the pieces that we wrapped up in foil. All I'm going to do with those is just give them a squash and then I'm going to add that to the risotto base now so I can start breaking it down. So I've got about a cup's worth of frozen peas there, just going to add those in and then just give those, you know, just give them a good stir through. If it starts to thicken up, make sure you've got a little bit of stock left over just so you can add that to it as well, just to sort of bring it down if it starts getting a bit too thick. And then I've got some spinach as well, so I'm just going to take a handful of that and then I've got some mixed herbs, just a little pinch. So I'm just cooking this out. So now I'm just looking at making sure that the peas are uh, cooked throughout. 
and I've just started to wilt down that spinach so you haven't got big raw leaves of spinach going through your risotto. And then lastly, what I'm gonna do is take the cubes, so the diced butternut squash that I've got, and I'm just gonna run those through because I wanna try to keep those as they are. I don't wanna sort of break that down like I did with the, the base end of the squash. So now, it's been on a medium heat, so I'm just gonna turn it up just a little bit now, just to get some heat into it before we serve it. Then turn it off. Now we come to serving it. So you can have her as much or as little as this as you want. Go straight in. And then you should, if not, get some. Have a little bit of parmesan in your fridge. Just grate some over the top, just so it melts through. And that is my squash pea spinach risotto, ready for the summer. Lovely dish for sitting in your garden. Enjoy.